Welcome back to Arcanum, where we are going to roll back to this save. Speak to Magnus. How can I help you? Um. What would you like me to do? I'd like you I'll to wait, wait here, here. But you'd best not keep me waiting long. And I'm going to see if I can commit just a teensy bit of a murder. Right after all the uh, onlookers go away. There you go. Well. That seemed to, that seems to have gone fine. Now. Magnus doesn't mind. Virgil doesn't mind. Sog doesn't mind. And Dog doesn't mind. Actually, Sog... Sog's at 43. Sog, get inside before we get in trouble. Oh god. I forgot. Um. Okay. Save here, roll back to the prior save, double check that SOG, okay, SOG's status hasn't changed. So, the only thing left to do here How can is I gather you? up Magnus. Oh god, oh no, I fucked it up. Got too close to a guard while I was near a corpse. So immediately, instead of ignoring the corpse, he assumed the corpse was important and it was attached to me. Um, How can I help you? It's about time. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Everybody run. Run, run, run. Running, run, run. Excuse me, guard. <laughs> the only problem is now I can't go anywhere near that that area again, I think. Otherwise, it'll... I can't imagine that the AI is smart enough to realize that the cor that's been a corpse for days. Right? Anyway. Um, so, this is heavy, but I think it's only appropriate for me to wear it. AC 20, DR 30, fire, fire plus 10, electric minus 20, what is NP again? I've forgotten already. Minus 10 versus minus 80. I don't know, it's such a drastic improvement, I can't. Okay. Take some things. Take some things. Keep forgetting I have this smoking jacket. Um, I'm gonna have to look up what NP is again. Hold on. I 
I apologize. I mean, not really. The game should be able to tell me. I shouldn't have to pull something up to figure it out, but... Oh, good. Google remembered my search. Noise. That's what it was. That's right. Okay. So, no sneaking for me with this ear. But otherwise, it's superior in every way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's more electrical, negative electrical resistance, but everything else is an improvement. Okay. Well, we'll wear this for the time being. It does make me slower. Um, which I can't fix without... Uh, Increasing my strength anyway. Maybe I want to just go a full uh, melee type dude. I don't know. I'm still standing firm on the not magic, but the rest of it is up in the air. And given that I keep finding really good heavy armor and everything else seems to um, everything else seems to be totally fucked yeah put this on real quick wow that really just bumps everything up immediately hilarious um Okay, let's see. What can old Teach do for you? Teach? Like Edward Teach? I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. Aye, we haven't at that. I be Captain Edward Teach, salty sea dog and captain of the gypsy shadow, the crustiest and most seaworthy vessel this side of Razor's Cape. Nice to make your acquaintance. And a pleasure to make yours, Captain. I have a question or two. Like, what the fuck's Blackbeard doing here? Let's talk about your business, Captain. What do you be wanting to know? I don't know why I'm doing the accent. The accent... The, if you're not familiar with the history of the so-called pirate accent, I suggest you look it up. It's kind of hilariously stupid. Um, and is all, there's one actor who's to blame, whose name I forget. Um, tell me about your boat. My boat. There's nothing I'd rather talk about her, about, uh, there's nothing I'd rather talk about. Her name's the Gypsy Shadow, and there ain't ne ever been a more perfect piece of shipwork done sailed the Arcanum Seas. Boy, they're really butchering this. Um, where did you get her? The gypsy? That's quite a tale, matey, and not one I ju tell, just tell to anyone. I understand. You can trust me. No offense, matey, but there ain't many that I'd tell that tale to, and I'm not too sure about you. I understand. One or two more things I'd like to know. What do you be wanting to know? Um, what cities do you sail to? Depending on what I happen to be doing, I'll sail just about anywhere. Anywhere that's got a port or a place to land anyways. Blackroot, Tarant, Caledon, I've been to them all, and business takes me to all of them. Is your boat for hire, Captain? Well, sometimes she is. I've got what you might call an employer, and most of the work I do, I do for him. Who is this employer? Well, he's a man by the name of Gilbert Bates. THE Gilbert Bates, the one who invented the steam engine. He's the man who mostly makes the calls on who hires out the gypsy, so if you, if you need her to do something, he's the man to see. I see, does he own the boat now? No, I still be the captain and sole owner of the gypsy, but let's just say that I owe Mr. Bates a few favors, and leave it at that. Even though I already know the answer, where might I find this Mr. Bates? Tarant, more than likely, he's got himself a big house there. 
but he ain't an easy man to see. So your business better be important. This is so weird. Tarant is the, like, almost undeniable second place you go. There's almost no chance you would come here before there. So this seems really odd. A few more general questions. What can you tell me of Ashbury? Ashbury, not much to say about her. Another port, another town. Another good place for a sailor to lay his head or get drunk. That was inspiring. A few more general questions. I really must leave. Alright, so... I need to go back to Tarant and talk to um, Bates about this because you don't just name a character Edward Teach and not have anything important for him to do. Um, sorry, did you say I could play a game of dice? A game of dice? I'll have you know I aced the games of dice in uh, The Witcher 1. The name of the game, I forget though. The one they retired so that they could make Gwent. Um, no, please tell me, how is it played? The game is played with two dice. You make a series of rolls of the dice, first you set to mark and then you roll the, the mark again to win. Six or whatever you like. We play the dice for coins only. No gentlemen's agreements because we ain't gentlemen. I'll belt the first person what says otherwise. <laughs> no markers. No promissory notes. No IOUs. Just coins. We usually play for small stakes. 25 coins. You roll the two and a one. Egad. Not a three. This is a lousy mark. Roll the six and a one. Confounded, I have lost. <laughs> you have lost, my friend. Are you ready to go again? I must retire. Boy, that was... What a waste of fucking time. But kind of funny. Okay. Um, next time on Arcanum, we're going to see about this other boat. And then we're going to uh, figure out about the train and maybe go back to Tarant. We'll see what happens.